Good morning, guys. I just want to let you know that it's one Tuesday, and uh, second, it's God has really been um, starting to turn things around for us, I feel. And it seems that the devil tries to attack us personally in a financial department. And I may have told you this before, but when we got married, my wife immediately lost her job. And she had to get unemployment. We didn't know what we were going to do. Uh, we immediately had half our income just wiped away. Uh, when we were expecting X, we got Y. And so we really had to trust God and, and still still tithe our, our finances, even though that was the one of the hardest things we had to do. Um, <clears throat> and it seemed just here lately, it's been kind of the same struggle. Uh, not necessarily job loss, but now my wife is looking for work. And... So obviously the financial portion is, is strained. However, God has been <clears throat> slowly releasing his blessings on us. And uh, as of yesterday, that happened. And so we were really excited about that, about what God is doing. And I know that he's not done yet um, just because I trust him. And so what I've had to do, just so you guys know the secret, the secret is to let it go. <laughs> the secret is to say, God, here's, here's my issue and my problem. And I need you to take care of it. And that kind of goes back to laying down our lives for other people. Because, yeah, in our situation, in our lives, it's not always going to be perfect. It's not always going to be peachy. Finances are not always going to be there. Your emotional levels of healthiness are not always going to be there. Uh, your support systems aren't always going to be there. But the point is, is that God is always there. Uh, whether people will always fail you, they'll always trip up, they'll always make mistakes. And we have to forgive them for that. But we need to put our trust in God alone. And so... It's, it's interesting. Uh, I was reading um, 2 Corinthians 12, um, and it's verse 8. It says, three, three different times I begged the Lord to take it away. Each time he said, my grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. That is so powerful. My grace is all you need. My powerful works best in weakness. And Paul says, so now I'm glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ can work through me. That's why I take pleasure in my weakness and in my insults, hardships, persecutions, and troubles that I suffer for Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And we're only strong because of God. We're only strong because He is with us. We're only strong because that's in His grace kicks in when we are weak. When we are weak, when we are downcast, when we don't, when we cast that at His feet, when we hit our low, where we say, God, you know what, take, take it all away. Then He's like, all right, now I'm going to show you how, how I do things, how I want it done, how... I get to bless you. And it doesn't always take this, guys, but a lot of times it takes us to be weak for him to show us power because we can't let go. You know, when things are going good, you're not you're not focused on, on God so much, truthfully. When things are going right, when things are going your way, God kind of gets put on the side burner. But when th- when you know when all hell breaks loose and you're like, Oh Lord, save me. And a lot of times we can we can get caught up in that in that I need you, God, when I need you, and I don't when I don't. And I've just been guilty of that as well, and I'm just like, God, forgive me, because we need, no matter if things are going good or bad, if it's going good for us, it's obviously going bad for someone else, and we need to step in and lay our lives down and pray for them, intercede for them, ask them how we can help them, encourage them, because we were there, we struggled with that kind of stuff, and God puts us together for a reason, he puts relationships together for a reason, so you can pray for each other, build each other up, and encourage each other, and I just want to remind you guys that it is so important that when we are weak, God is strong. His grace is sufficient for us, and he will come through every time. And it's always in his timing and not our timing, and that's the patience portion that's difficult. But as we lay our lives down, lay our burdens down at his feet and say, God, I can't handle it anymore. It's all you. I am so weak. I just can't take it anymore. It's sucking the life out of me. God will say, okay, I'm going to give you strength to push through, and I'm going to bless you because of it, because you trusted me, and you're faithful. So, guys, I just want to encourage you today. As you feel like you're getting weaker, as you feel like things just aren't going your way, God is there. Lean into him, lay it at his feet, and you go do his work for him. And I guarantee that he will bless you. Be different today, guys. Love you.